Without further ado, Bob, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Bob Etherington. I own the Bob Etherington Group. We are a boutique sales training company. In fact, we do more than just sales training. It's what I call business persuasion. And that covers, yes, sales, but also negotiating and public speaking. But it's also led me into a number of different fields when somebody said, well, we've enjoyed that program you ran for us. Do you do anything on leadership? I've learned the hard way never to say no. I always say, tell me what you want. And very often, and more often than not, you find that there is something there in the world of communication, in the world of business persuasion, which you can help at as well. Thank you so much for that lovely introduction. And Bob, before we start, I have to say a big thank you. Right. Because you've been in my network nine years, approaching ten years, and you've always supported me so and always said a good word about me. So I really have to be thankful and say thanks. And you've been a key gem in my network, so I really wanted you on the show. It's because you're good at what you do. Oh, I don't just hand out things. It's, I lived in America for a long time, and all these high fives and good job, I don't believe in that. Uh, just for absolutely anything. You've done a first class job. I've watched your career, and I admire what you've done. And... I'm right behind you. Oh, if I can okay. collaborate with you on things, I certainly yes. will. Yes. And actually, I didn't know before you set up your own business and consultancy <clears throat> in sales, because you're the master and guru in sales, that you worked in New York. So what did you do in New York? Well, I worked for 22 years wow. for the news agency Reuters on, yes. on Fleet Street, selling their electronic financial mm. information services. And there was a time in the mid-1990s where they needed somebody in, uh, in America and I said, no, I'll go there. And I, I was travelling there regularly. One mm. What year was this, by the way? 1994. Okay, yeah. yeah so I went there in 94, it. came out in 2000. Loved America, had a mm. wonderful time. And, but an English person teaching an American to sell 